During this time of the corona crisis, the so-called corona crisis, Wuhan virus crisis, Wu flu crisis or COVID-19 crisis, the word apocalyptic is quite often used. People talk about apoc apocalyptic times, apocalyptic crisis. So maybe it's about time we start talking about the real apocalypse, the revelation of St. John or the book of Revelation. I would like to share with you some of my thoughts about this book in the coming weeks, maybe months, and see what it can really mean. What is the meaning of the book of the Apocalypse? The Revelation of St. John, was what message does God wants to give with this? I'll just start by saying what it is not. Um, it's not about the end of the world. You see, the end of the world for Catholics is very simple. It's very near. It's the, it's the Eucharist. The end of the world is the death and resurrection of Christ. That's the end of the world. So the end has always been and it's still there. The great challenge of our Christian life is what will be added to this Eucharistic sacrifice. What will we do in answer to it? That's why the book of the Apocalypse is not about the end of the world, but about the return of Christ. Now, there's a few things that God will not tell about it. We know this because Jesus told us so. The Apocalypse will not predict us when Christ will come back. It's very simple. The time is near, the end is near, but when exactly Christ will come back, God will not tell us. The other thing is how he will come back. And there's a very disappointing uh, prophecy about this, or an, it's not really a prophecy because it's angels telling us. Um, the angels have predicted that the return of Christ will be very usual, very common almost. Um, when Jesus has risen to heaven, the day of the ascension, the angels tell the apostles that are sort of staring at the sky, seeing Jesus go away. I mean, they're just gazing, gasping at Jesus disappearing. The angels sort of wake them up and say, come on, What's going on? I mean, look at that. He will come back the same way as he has, has gone. He's gone away. He will come back. It will be the same. That's, I find this the most actually disappointing prophecy or prediction ever made in the Bible because you would like Jesus to come back in a very spectacular way. So, if the book of the Apocalypse is about the return of Christ and what will, how he will return, it's not so much about what we will see. In any case, it's, it's going to be a big, big surprise. It's going to be about what he wants to see in us. It's like the sort of user's manual for grace. How to use grace. How to prepare yourself for the return of Christ. He is going to come back and we're going to be surprised. That's the only thing we, we, we can say about it. But are we ready to surprise him, to amaze him when he comes back? Because it's all about the bride and the bridegroom in the apocalypse. When the bride comes down the stairs meeting her husband, after having spent hours to get herself more beautiful than usual, what will the bridegroom see? So the apocalypse is like the user's manual for those people who want to live their life of grace, and in particular, but we will see that, how they will live from the seven sacraments.